Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix WhatsApp notifications not working problem in iPhone. If you have recently bought a new iPhone and migrated all your data wirelessly using the migration assistant feature from your old iPhone to the new iPhone, or you performed a backup restore process with the help of computer and iTunes software, you know, by taking all the old data from your old iPhone as a backup file and then restoring it to new iPhone, very limited number of users have faced this particular error message when they open WhatsApp application. If you also got this message and you are wondering like why none of the messages that I receive are you know showing the notification on my lock screen or even when the phone is unlocked then I have tried you know few troubleshooting steps like three troubleshooting steps to be exact. The all settings reset and the app offload method for you know previously we have suggested in one of our episode that if you have a delayed notification problem with the WhatsApp or any attack attachment related issues you can try you know whatsapp offload method i leave a link to that tutorial in the description that may be helpful for some users but it didn't help for this scenario but i just wanted to point you out to that like if you have a similar problem you may try that step as well for not just for whatsapp application for any application if you have done the backup restore process either wirelessly or wired method you know just few hours before and noticing this strange problem all you have to do is you need to redo the process Again, you know, you have to format your new iPhone by going to the settings, general, reset, and then erase data and reset all settings. Make sure that your old iPhone or the backup copy is perfectly intact. All the data are safe before performing this erase data and all settings reset in your new iPhone. Then you can, you know, trigger the migration assistant feature or perform the backup restore when the phone is kind of a new once again. And when you take it nearby to your old iPhone, it'll start the process once again and you can complete the migration assistant to bring back all your data to the new iPhone. And this time you will see the WhatsApp notifications. It actually worked for some people who had the problem. And the second troubleshooting step, which I also personally recommend is you need to navigate to the WhatsApp application settings, storage and data and then click on manage storage at the top there you will see the amount of storage that your whatsapp application have consumed in your iphone disk space you need to free up some storage if you have some good morning good evening good night messages or any video attachments that, that is just forwards and not necessary you can clean them all and you can you know adjust size of the backup to make it fit for your icloud storage if you have a paid icloud storage plan it's absolutely fine you can simply make Make sure that the backup is already done and then you can delete whatsapp reinstall the whatsapp and again push the restore backup of whatsapp application alone within the whatsapp settings chats icloud backup option that is kind of you know an easy way to do to fix the whatsapp notifications problem and the whatsapp you know not being visible in settings iphone settings notification after doing this reinstallation of the application the problem will be definitely fixed and you will see the whatsapp notifications control in your iphone setting for some people like if they have only icloud 5gb storage the free storage your icloud contacts and notes alone using that storage for like less than 1 GB then you have to shrink the WhatsApp actual backup you know the all the files in the storage space to something that fits within your free iCloud storage after taking the backup of your WhatsApp you know completing this reinstallation process you can delete the old backup and you can maintain the data you know after fixing the reinstallation and notification problem this will definitely be helpful if none of the two steps you know applicable to you the last step is Take a fresh backup of your iPhone with your computer using iTunes and then you have to restore the iPhone with the same backup. So this is the last step actually worked for some people who cannot, you know, use the old backup transfer process or, you know, can use the iCloud backup option and restore option because they may not have enough storage and they cannot free up any storage amount from their iCloud account. So that is all and I hope this helped you at least one of the step actually helped you to to fix the problem and feel free to comment below if it actually worked for you or if you tried any additional step to fix the problem people who have same problem you know may find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more iphone tips tricks and you know some awesome tutorials similar to this to fix the problem and to get the best out of your iphone ipad and mac computer and you may search our channel for any apple products related problems you know to find some quick and easy fix and if you find this video useful you know what to do thanks for watching have a wonderful day